in this video we are looking at motion in physics first we define motion as the change in position of a body with respect to time when you change position from one point to another with respect to time then that is motion for example let's consider two points point A and point B. If a ball moves from point A to point B and covers a distance D in time T, then the ball have undergone motion. Motion can take place along different paths. We have horizontal path, that is when the motion is on a straight road, like a car moving on the road surface. Vertical path motion. This is the motion that either go up or come down. Example is motion under gravity. And then curved motion, which is a combination of horizontal and vertical motion. Example is the projectile motion. Types of motion. We're going to look at five of them. The first one is the random motion. This is a disorderly motion with no pattern to it. Anyhow, type of motion. It moves anyhow. For example, dust particles, smoke particles in air. Number two, we have rotational motion. This is the motion of a body about an axis or a center. It moves in a cycle. All right? Example is the motion of the ceiling fan in our houses or the standing fan. Number three, we have the translational motion. This is the motion of a rigid body from one point to another point. All right? So if a boy moves or runs from point A to point B, he is undergoing translational motion. Oscillatory motion is a to and fro type of motion. To and fro. Motion that repeats itself after a certain period of time. Right? So when a ball, when you swing a ball from left to right, it comes and go back. That is oscillatory motion. For example, the motion of a simple pendulum. Number five, we have the relative motion. This is motion of a body with respect to another body. For instance, if you are inside a car, as the car moves, you are moving also at the speed of the car. If the driver matches brake, you tend to jack forward. Why? Because you are moving relative to the car. Is that okay? All right. Next. We look at the parameters of motion. What we need to define motion. Number one, we need distance or displacement. Distance is scalar quantity. Displacement is vector quantity. Both are denoted by the letter S. Distance is a space between two points. Displacement is distance traveled in a specific direction. Okay. Next, speed or velocity. Speed is scalar, velocity is vector, both denoted by V. Speed is distance over time, velocity is displacement over time. Next, we have acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, denoted by the letter A. And then finally, we have time which is the major of event denoted by letter T. Now, expressions to take note of. The first one, speed or velocity V is equal to distance over time. That's D over T. And the unit is meters per second. M is used to represent to major D 
and then s is used to major t all right acceleration a equals velocity over time and the unit is meters per second square next point to note uniform speed the rate of change of distance with time is constant we have uniform speed when the rate of change of distance with time is constant we have uniform speed okay okay let's consider two different journeys first one a body moves 10 meter in two seconds and 20 meters in four seconds if you divide 10 by 2 we have 5 if you divide 20 by 4 we have 5 also so you check well in the two journeys the speed is the same uniform all right okay uniform acceleration when the rate of change of velocity with time is constant we have uniform acceleration and then the last one on this list is average speed this is the total distance traveled by a body divided by the time taken for the journey note this two point the velocity of a body is increasing with time the body is said to be accelerating so if you're in a car if the velocity is increasing with time the body is accelerating whereas if the velocity of a body is decreasing with time the body is decelerating or retardating equations of motion these are the equations we need to solve motion problems all right so the first one is s equals u plus v over 2 times time you need to know these equations you need to memorize them okay second one v equals u plus a t third one s equals u t plus half a t square and then finally v square equals u square plus 2 a s all right these equations you have to know them before we start the solving in the next video we are going to be solving questions but you need to know them first u represent initial velocity v represent final velocity s represent distance a represent acceleration and then t represent time in the next video we are going to be looking at calculations under motion but first you need to memorize the formulas we just went through and then prepare yourself for the calculation thank you very much for being a part of the class